tortoise named Happy always spent her days happy. In the morning, her mum and dad woke her up with kisses, then Happy washed her face and had breakfast. Ah, she also had to take off her pyjamas and wear her green shell, because no one should see the tortoises without their shells. And went to school. She studied, chatted and played with her friends there. And then she came back home. She did her homework, had a little chinwag with her friends on Zoo Book. And what is Zoo Book, you may ask? Almost every animal at school had a page on Zoo Book. It's a website where you can post your photos, congratulate your friends on their birthdays and ask about your homework if you forgot which notebook you had written it down in. And it's very important to post on the internet just those photos you really like as they can appear in your school paper by chance. It's well known the internet remembers everything it sees. One morning, Happy's life became even more interesting. The tortoise got a message from a newt on Zoo Book. Hello, let's make friends. Ooh, that's interesting, thought Happy. Who is it? She tried to find out everything about the newt in order not to get into trouble. Was it possible for a newt to have a name, Newt? She carefully examined the stranger's page and answered with just one word. OK. From that time, the tortoise Happy began her friendship with the Newt Newt and spent more time on her zoo book. She enjoyed messaging with him. And what were they talking about? All sorts of things. They shared different funny pictures and favourite music with each other. Their messages through the internet were quite private. They told each other about their worries and fears, so the Newt asked the tortoise to keep their relations secret. I'm so excited to have such a great friend, Happy thought in the evening, and fell asleep happily. One day at school, Happy got into trouble. Happy was upset when she came back home. Her parents were still at work, so Happy went to her room, switched on Zoo Book and wrote, Hi Newt, I've had a very bad day today. Hi Happy, what's happened? Oh, I didn't prepare an important task yesterday and everybody laughed at me. You're the best among everyone I know. I like you. Happy, take a photo for me right now. I'd like to see you're smiling and not sad anymore. The tortoise took several photos and chose the one she liked most of all. Happy, you're special. I've never seen such a beautiful tortoise. Is it true that tortoises take off their shells? Yeah, sure. Can I see what you tortoises look like without your shells? Send a photo. But tortoises mustn't show themselves to other animals without their shells. It's my clothing, my protection. Don't you trust me? I trust you. Of course I do wrote Happy, but she didn't like his request. If you trust me, prove it. Take off your shell and take a photo. Otherwise, I won't be your friend anymore. And don't even think about telling anyone. You promised. What should I do? I won't have enough time to ask my mum for advice. I don't want to lose my friend. Maybe I should take a photo. <gasps> May. Hello, Happy. Who's here? I'm May. You call me here yourself. I didn't call anybody. I just told myself maybe I should take a photo. Oops. Happy stopped. I mustn't tell you about this. I know everything. I know what the newt's asking for. My name is May. I'm here to save you. Actually, I'm not a fly and look like this. Now you can see how bright I am. That's why I turned into a fly. I'm here to help you with a decision. I'll show you a different future and you'll be able to choose which one to take. Look around, May commanded. Don't worry, she can't see us. We're from a different timeline. She's crying because she's already sent those photos, explained May. 
what will I do? May exclaimed immediately. Look around. The tortoise looked around. Now they were next to the school. Look, there is Mr. Lion over there. He's calling your parents to tell them about those photos. Your parents will be very unhappy, but your mum and dad will defend and support you because they love you and your safety is very important to them. May, are you sure this future hasn't happened yet? Can it really change? I don't like it. Look around, May said. Your friends, true friends, thank and support you. And the most interesting thing is that some of your friends also had secret chats with such frauds. Thanks to you, now they know what to do. Happy, you showed everyone that to say no is a real superpower. Everybody can use it to protect themselves. And remember, Happy, you can only send those photos which you are ready to see on the oak tree near the school. Happy decided not to delay. She answered Newt confidently. No. Took photos of the chat and blocked the fraud. You're right, May. True friends won't make you do unpleasant things, said Happy. But May didn't reply. That's how it goes. You are thinking about something important, trying to make a decision and see a fly next to you. Perhaps it isn't a fly. Maybe it's May looking after us to be sure we're safe.